Smock, you're first. <laughs> okay, well, you you had some Jawan Young at tight air at defensive end, and we saw a little Anthony Anderson at tight end. Uh, now, what I tell you, we're going to move some people around, but that may mean you're still playing the same positions. So. He may have been playing, you know, they playing different places. Right. They're line up at different places, but they mean they're playing a certain position. And again, we're just trying to take advantage of some skill sets we have and uh, see how it goes. Well, it's early. I mean, oh, you've yeah. got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Looking at Isaiah Green, what, what have you seen the most? Out of him over the last few months, just from a you know once Chase declared and, and the mental processes that he's gone through, he delivered some nice balls for that. Good, good. And, yeah, I think you know you also when he came as a true freshman, he had a lot of poise and a lot of confidence, and that hasn't changed. His body's changed. And, you know, look at him physically; he's he's a lot trimmer. And, you know, looks looks a lot better as a player. So hopefully that carries over and uh, he continues to get better. In this uh, looking at Moody. Uh, coming back, I know that the linebacker room's already crowded, but but getting him back in that fold and adding to that depth, how, how important is that for him to have a good spring and get out there? Well, you can't have enough players. You know, we thought you know, going in, we, we didn't see very much of him, unfortunately, in the last you know, fall. But uh, you know, he got to, you know, he's, he's back healthy now and he's running around. But we did see him, you know, getting here pants and doing some good things. Excited about that. When he got hurt, he was around first team reps for a while yeah, too. So it's. That, uh, do you feel like the linebackers are going to push each other this spring just because of the competition within that position? I think any time you have you know, you know, competition in any position, hey, yo, you need uh, hot play wide out you know, linebackers or whatever, any time you've got competition, it makes all of them worse. Having Greg Eichelt, a, a guy that played offensive line here at Marshall, and, and now he comes in and he's got five or six deep as far as uh, offensive linemen with starting, uh, starting experience. Given his experience and his background, uh, with the university, how, how integral is that just to be able to have everybody bought in and, well, and get there? Well, I think it's critical, number one, because he, he, he loves being at it. It's his school, and uh, he's a tremendous player here, accomplished a lot of things as a player, and he's done a lot of things as a coach, wherever he's been, he's been excellent, he's been excellent, he's been excellent, he's been excellent. Marshall means a lot to him, and, 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 and he's, of course, he's coached at Harvard, wherever he is. You know, we have developed some depth there. If you look at that first group, they're pretty solid, but we need to get some guys, and a couple guys missing today with some guys. Getting a lot there. Hopefully, you know, he knows his NFL experience helps him. Uh, he knows what they're looking for next level and can get some of those young guys to that level they want well, to achieve. Well, you know, they all have that dream. You know, he's been there and coached that level, so I'm sure that you'll get great respect for where he's been. Where he's been. Oh, it's been a long time coming to get to get the coordinators and everybody on the field and, and finally see it, the inner workings start to produce. Is this an exciting day for you all? Well, it was. I mean, you know, want to see some of the young players go out there and see what's happening in the transition from the weight room to out on the field. And, uh, but to get the coaches also in that field, you've got four you know, new coaches, four new coaches, and uh, Adam and being here, but being coordinated. And, you know, they're actually all excellent coaches. And they get, you know, they coach with uh, you know, great enthusiasm and uh, they're fun out there. Fun. It's fun to watch them out there work with the coaches. All right. Thank okay, you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm.